Hello everyone, welcome to the Hypergamous Journey. My name is Denise. At this channel, we discuss dating advice for women who are mature, mature in age, mature in mindset. This video was inspired by, you know, YouTube and their algorithms by a video that came into my um, feed. I think it was a TikTok. I don't know. But anyway, it's about gray hair. And it took me 15 minutes to find the video because I found the lady with the long gray hair, but I didn't find the lady with the short gray hair. And I wanted to present two different sides. Of course, the lady with the short gray hair is more of my style. And the lady with the long gray hair, she is more of a classic, traditional, maybe not so much, but more of a sophisticated style. Whereas the other woman, she probably can do sophisticated, but it seems like she has more of an edge to her. And I kind of resonated with that side. And I feel like I have, you haven't seen my edgy sides, but you know, I'm the kind of woman that likes like, you know, fitted motorcycle jackets. I really like my jackets to fit, um, my short jackets to fit and probably stop around my waist. And um, so maybe I could go both ways. But anyway, we all can go both ways. But anyway, I really like the, these two together because they show basically gray hair. And, and if you're in my age group, my demographic age, age wise, you know that we're growing gray. Like, see, I can't tell if this is like product that didn't, you know, dry right in my hair or if these are gray strands. So I'm just going to assume that they're gray strands, especially right here. So this is gray. So I have gray hair, but, and because my hair is short, it, you can really see the gray. You can really see the gray. So, but you know, when people look at it, probably it shows up on camera too, because I'm sitting at a natural, um, natural light from the window. And you know, this is not a filtered camera or a filter, you know, it's just, all of it, whatever you see is what you get, is, is, is what you get because this camera is not filtered. And so um, when I look at myself in the mirror, I don't really see the gray that much because it's basically still black or dark brown hair. But as we age, we, 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 as we mature, you know, the gray stops popping in. And then the question becomes to color or not to color? Not to color or to color. So I made a decision pretty early because that's OCD is, is sometimes the way I am. It's like, I'm not going to color my hair because I don't even like taking a lot of time with my hair, even though maintaining this short hairstyle is, is uh, requires a lot of maintenance. Every two weeks, I do my own. I trim my hair and I wash and condition it shampoo and condition it. And I don't have to do a whole lot because I don't put a lot of product. For my scalp, I use old traditional Royal Crown hair dressing, you know, the one in the red and silver metal can. I don't have a, cause I don't have it with me. But anyway, you probably know what that looks like. And if not, um, you know, Amazon sells it so expensively. I get it from Walmart for like $3. <laughs> Three dollars, period. So, um, and so if I want to sheen and my scalp is dry, I'll just put Royal Crown on my scalp and then the next day I have a sheen. Now it kind of, I need more curling product to make it curly, but basically my hair is, when it's wet, it curls up at this length. And so my hair texture is like a 4B. Yeah, my hair texture is a 4B. And um, that's it. But what I like about this, this, this video is that you have two different women with two different styles in, you know, just different styles. Like I said, the woman with the short hair is the hairstylist. I just came across this YouTube, so I don't even ch um, channel in this YouTube video. So I don't even know the, the, the ladies' names. So... One has a really short um, do. She wears it straight. It looks like it might be relaxed. And it's just it's just molded to her, her head and her face. You know, like no bumping or curls or a little bit of curls like with the pixie, but it's just all straight. She wears it um, framed to her face. And then the other woman, 
her hair is gray as well, but it's long. It, it looks like you know, it's um, layered, so she has like a swooping kind of thing, and then it goes down to here and all of that. And it's cotton white. Her hair is cotton white. Now, I'm not sure if it grows that way naturally or if she used some kind of product to, you know, um, boost the whiteness of her hair. And then the other woman, her hair is more of like a silver gray. Now, the women in my family, um, especially on my dad's side, they grow with the lady who has the longer hair. That's the color of their hair, and their hair is not relaxed. So one aunt has hair down to here that's all natural and looks kind of woolly, but she's in her close to 80. So she's not really into trying to take care of her hair like that. And so um, two, two of my father's sisters have cotton white hair. And my mom's hair is more on the silver side and her hair was um, down to here. So my, my, my youngest sister has hair down to her waist and she's been coloring her hair for the longest time. And so the question for me and what I thought about with you is when you get, when it's time, are you going to color your hair black or whatever natural color it, it was when you were younger, or are you going to just let the gray come in? Now, I've been listening to some videos from, um, what's her name? Mina Irfan of The Universe Guru, and she did address, you know, dating in your 50s. And one of the first things she said, I think she did, she named five things. And one of the things she said is that you have to color the grays because gray men associate with age, ill health or whatever like that. And so, of course, I bucked that because I made a decision in my 20s, 30s that I wasn't going to color my hair because it's just too much. It's too much upkeep. And plus, I have fine hair. I used to call it thin. And then a friend hairstylist of mine said, you know, it's not thin, it's fine. So I have fine hair. It curls naturally at this length. And um, based on experience, when I had a relaxer, my hair turned to straw. And um, it was just really hard, like Barbie doll hair or, or doll hair. It was it was hard and, and, and straw like that. And um, at one point, my hair was just falling out. So... I can't take, my hair cannot take a lot of strong products and coloring and all that. And I've never colored my hair, but I don't <laughs> want to take the chance of coloring my hair and wake up one day with all of my hair on my pillow. That is too traumatizing and a chance that I don't want to take. So when Mina Irfan said, you know, you have to color your hair because men are naturally drawn to youth and the full hair of youth, the long hair of youth. And then I began to think about, well, that's a European, European standard, you know, long hair. And I thought, well, what are the, you know, I'm from, I'm sure in my gene pool somewhere it is African. And so I was beginning to think like, well, what countries in Africa where the women didn't have long hair, but they were, cons and they were considered beautiful. You know, I know that there were intricate ba braiding styles and that there were, um, based on the kind of hairstyle, braided hairstyle or conroed hairstyle that the woman had, it determined her um, tribe, it determined her class, it, deter it determined if she was part of the royal family or the royal court, or if she worked in, uh, you know, on the farm and farmed her own land with her family. So, the hairstyle and hair length is is um, connected to, you know, class, social class, and standards of beauty. Not only here in in the West in America, but really across the globe, and then you know, add social media to the bunch and everybody's trying to get the European standard of beauty, especially, you know, with um, wig and weave and things long and straight. So no judgment here. You know, you do what you do. I do what I do. And so 
I don't want any parts of it. So then I had to think about, um, I had to think about, well, how do you be authentically you? And I'm always asking myself this question. If you look through my videos, you know, it's sprinkled in here and there. It's like, I like a short haircut. I love my hair short. My hair used to be very long down my back. And I still did the same thing with it every day. I balled it up into a bun in the center of my head. And people would say to me, who knew me, it's, and people would walk up to me, is that all your hair? It's like, well, how long is it? And I would indulge, indulge them. And then I would, you know, point to where it came on my, you know, my chest down here. And they'd be like, and you wear it in a bun? You always wear it up? You know, a lot of judgment and stuff, but I didn't care because I danced a lot. I was, you know, getting perspiring a lot because I was an active young person and young woman. And even into my 30s and 40s and up until the pandemic hit, I still was taking dance classes, ballet classes in 20 in 2020. And so um, so now I'm getting back into it. So that's all. I think that's all I have to say about this gray hair thing. And if I come across any other information or thoughts, I'm going to do, uh, you know, another video on gray hair. So. Ladies, decide for yourself what your beauty is. Remember, I have these videos on determining your unique style of beauty, finding a person, you know, on the internet or a celebrity, whomever, you know, it could be your daughter or your, your, your cousin, whose style that you admire and figure out what works for you. And if you need to hire someone to determine your color or the style that works for you, do that. Don't skimp on that. Um... And if you're the kind of person who's do it yourself, which is more like me, I already knew what my style was, but I needed help, a little bit of help with my color. So I went with Krista, Crystalline Karazin of the Pink Pill, and she gave me all of that information. And someone, a subscriber asked me about that information. I don't have it. I don't know where it is, but um, I'm just going with colors that make me pop. And so... Um, yeah, I've decided that I'm not going to color my hair, that I'm going to put the emphasis on my style of dress and my makeup. And I really believe and feel that you can feel, you have to feel younger, first of all. It has to come on, start from the inside and doing things that make you feel youthful and light in your spirit. And when you, and, um, and in your um, energy, when you talk to men or whomever, and it starts within with your energy and then it goes to um, how you present yourself on the outside. And I've decided I'm not going to color my hair. That's the way I feel today. I reserve the right to change my mind, but that's the way I feel today. But to make my youthfulness come out in my clothing and in my makeup. If you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, and I will see you in the next one.